Here's a slightly more involved linear equation. We're asked to solve for, and here the variable is a. And we have 1 half times this whole expression. 3 times the expression 5 plus a minus 2 is equal to a over 2 plus 5 over 2. And it looks very daunting, but if we take it step by step, we'll actually see this actually a pretty reasonable problem. And maybe I'll take a couple of stabs at it, depending on how much time we have. So let me just rewrite it once. So 1 half times 3 times 5 plus a minus 2 is equal to a over 2 plus 5 over 2. So one way that I could do it, I could start right over here. I have this 3 times 5 plus a. I can distribute the 3. So 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times a is 3a. So I have 15 plus 3a. So that's so this part of the expression is this part right over here, minus 2. And then times that whole thing times 1 half is equal to, and I could also simplify this right hand side right over here. I have the same denominator. a over 2 plus 5 over 2 is a plus 5 over 2. And then if I simplify inside the brackets, I have a 15 minus a 2. So that'll simplify to a positive 13. Simplify to a positive 13. So again, I get a 3a. 3a plus positive 13. And then that whole thing is going to be multiplied by 1 half. And that's going to be equal to a plus 5 over 2. Now, there's a bunch of ways that you could go. You could actually distribute the 1 half times both of these terms right here. But there's a, maybe a, a clearer simplifying step. And actually, we could have done this right from the get-go to really have simplified our equation. We can just multiply both sides of this equation by 2 in order to get rid of this divided by 2 or this 2 in the denominator. So if I multiply the left hand by 2, I have to also multiply the right hand by 2. And then 2 times 1 half is just 1. A plus 5 over 2 times 2 is just a plus 5. And so that simplified it a good bit. We're just left with 3a plus 13 is equal to a plus 5. And now, like always, we want to isolate the variable on one side. Let's isolate it on the left-hand side, especially because we have more a's on the left than we do on the right. So let's subtract a from both sides to get rid of the a on the right-hand side. So let me subtract a from both sides. And I'm picking a to subtract because I have an a on the right-hand side. And I want to get rid of all the a's on the right-hand side. So I am left with, on the left-hand side, 3a minus a is 2a. So I have 2a plus 13 is equal to a minus a. That cancels out. That's just 0. I don't have to write down the 0. 2a is going to be equal to 5. And now I really want to have this 2a out here on the left by itself. So I want to get rid of this 13. So let's subtract 13 from both sides. So let's subtract 13 from both sides. These 13s cancel out. On the left-hand side, you're left with just a 2a. And then on the right-hand side, 5 minus 13 is negative 8. Negative 8. And then to solve for a, I just have to divide both sides by 2. I have to divide both sides by the, by the coefficient on this a. I'm saying on the left-hand side, 2 times a is equal to negative 8. If I divide both sides by 2, then I get a is equal to negative 4. And we are done. And we could have simplified it earlier on with that multiple multiplying both sides by 2. There's actually many, many, many ways to do this problem. But just to show you how it could have simplified it faster, if I multiplied the left-hand side and then the right-hand side by 2 early on, and when you're multiplying this right-hand side by 2, remember, the 2 has to be times both of these terms. On the left-hand side, this would have just canceled out. 2 times 1 half is 1. So the left-hand side would have simplified to 3 times 5 plus a minus 2. And then the right-hand side, you would have distributed this 2. 2 times a over 2 is a. 2 times 5 over 2 is 5. And then you would have just kept simplifying from here, and you would have gotten the same answer. a is equal to a is equal to negative 4. And let's try it out just to have a little bit of time. Let's actually verify that this actually works. If a is equal to negative 4, I'll do it in blue, we have the expression 1 half times 3 times 5 plus negative 4 minus 2 it needs to be equal to negative 4 over 2 plus 5 over 2. Every place that I had an a, every place that I had an a, I replaced it with negative 4. 
So let's simplify this. 5 plus negative 4, this simplifies to 1. So then we have 3 times 1 minus 2. So this is 3 times 1 minus 2. This whole thing right over here simplifies to 1. So you have 1 half times 1. The left hand side simplifies to 1 half. The right hand side, negative 4 halves plus 5 halves, that's the same thing as negative 4 plus 5 over 2, which is the same thing as 1 half. So it all works out.